Hello, scale modelers. Alrighty. Today is Tuesday, April 7th. And believe I'm actually on uh, my third week here in uh, I guess you can call it quarantine or staying at home but I have issue 50 of the build your own Star Wars X-Wing alright and something that I had forgotten to do uh, when I was making or filming uh, issue 49 was to film the uh, free gift I am gonna do that in a separate video just so I have another video worth of content so don't be surprised by that when you see that all right and we have articles uh, Starfighter Aces Poe Dameron and creating a starship fleet TIE fighter in Rebels okay And we are still working on the fourth cannon for the X-Wing. Alright. Now we got the parts for this week. Nope, I didn't uh, bring it down far enough there. <clears throat> Right, I cannot for get to grab the little clear lens at the end of the can in there. Don't want to lose that. All right. And just let me make sure. Nope, nothing there. All right. So upper port laser cannon. This issue's components complete the laser cannon that you began in stage 49. You have two sub-assemblies. The laser generator, which includes an internal LED lighting effect, plus the parts to complete the barrel of the weapon and the wingtip housing. All right. Okay, so we should just get going with this. And I have painted this half of the housing already. I did have an entire week to get it done, so I got it done. Which I'm not going to be painting this on camera. I'm just going to be uh, putting this together and I will paint this after the fact. Alright. So, we take the uh, forward laser generator and cap and then you have the laser generator LED they, nice that they actually have to give this a name other than calling it an LED. Alright. And just to make sure that it goes all the way down, we just gently push the back side of the LED so that way it comes out as far as it needs to come out. And it kind of looks like it came out on an angle, but, you yeah, know, it's fine. Alright. And then take these two halves right here, which these are the forward laser generator shells right here. So, just make sure they're in the right direction. Alright. And 
take this half right here, put that up over the top, and then when we go to push it together, just make sure that it doesn't catch on anything inside this, which it has. And it still has. Huh? Normally that doesn't happen. Normally I can get that sandwich in there without it uh, catching anything. Well, there we go. All right. And then we got this little key right here that just goes into that slot. And then we push it in. And then just make sure when you're doing that, do not push on the LED there. Because then you'll have to pull, every, pull this uh, cap back off and then try to put it back in. Alright, so there we go. And honestly, that brings us up to step seven. And okay, okay, now we're going to want to take the laser generator union right here. That's what that's called. Laser Generator Union. Alright, and that's also got one of those keyholes right there. And we just put that on. And push that in place. And this is the piece that has uh, right up in the back that little slot for the wiring so that way when you push the next piece in it uh, won't cause any issues which this is the next piece and that is the rear laser generator right there all right you just match up the keyhole right there make sure the wire is pulled up off to the side and I do know you guys have seen me do this three other times but there we go all right, and then we take the last two halves right there, which these are the rear laser generator halves. That's all it, that's all it calls it, the rear laser generator inner and outer half. So with this one, at least all we have to do is just squeeze that together, match up the keyhole, and push that together all right so now we got the laser generator all together and um, before we move on to the next step there which will be at step 14 all right so um, I only have up to issue 52 of the X-Wing build so far Still haven't gotten an email notification or anything about any more parts being sent for this. For the R2-D2 build. Or um, the uh, Eagle Moss DeLorean. So, yeah. I don't know when uh, I will be getting them. So, I'm definitely only going to be doing one of these videos a week, and I'm going to record it once a week now. I'm not going to record them all, all at the same time at the moment, because, I mean, at least this way this gives me something else to, to, to work on during the week, except for my car, which I have done some other things today. 
but uh, I will talk about that more later. All right, so issue 14 is basically just getting all the rest of the uh, cannon parts together. So, I'll just make sure that I take all the rest of the parts up out of the drawer right there. And then you have the expert tip about painting this so that way you don't have light bleed. And with all of mine, I always uh, paint it back further than what it shows on the pictures. I do that just because it actually um, forces more light um, up through this piece, which, let's see if I can pull out issue 49 here, and that is the laser cannon rear end cap, so that's what they call that. It does uh, allow a little bit more light to come through this. So, uh, that's one of the only reasons why I do it, other than, you know, more light through, which, um, let's see here, the, uh, suppressor mount, uh, does allow a little bit more light to come through that as well. So, alright, so there we go. Okay, so... Just right now, we take these two halves. And we put them together. So we got uh, two pegs and two parts right there. And we just pop it right on in. Alright, and then we take the outer shell and make sure that the wire actually goes into that little slit right there, otherwise you're going to have some problems with that. Alright, and then we just match up the uh, three-quarter moon slot or the D-shaped slot. Just slide it on there. Make sure the piping actually goes into the small holes that are right in here. Which, that one, I can't tell if that one's... Okay, yeah, that one was in. Alright. And then... Take the back cap right here. Oh, I shouldn't call it the back cap, but um, I know it's probably got a proper name here, which is, um, sorry, it says laser cannon front end cap. Okay, so yeah, which is kind of funny that this is the back and that's the front because the cannon comes out this way, not this way, but you know, it is what it is. All right, and as usual, okay, let me take a look at this. Okay, both ends seem to be pretty straight this time around. Nobody cut the pieces off at an angle. See, I feed this down into here while it's put together. But in this case, I might not be able to, because it seems like the hole is a little bit smaller than it usually is. Oh, no, there we go. It's down in there. And when it stops, you know that you're right at the LED light. So, yeah, I mean, in previous issues, it's had you put this whole thing together just to take it apart, just to put that in to find out that, you know... Um, that it just comes right out. So, I do this, I put it together, and then I always put <laughs> put it in, the, the uh, optic fiber ring. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, and then it doesn't want to slide all the way through. Let's... There we go. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. I thought it was. Okay, now it is. All right. And then we just take the barrel and we push the barrel on there, which is nice. Okay. It's not wiggling around. Me like. Okay. And then we take the suppressor halves right here. And then we take the R there, which it's going to have to be in that direction, I believe. The uh, emitter, the laser cannon emitter. have it in the wrong way. I might have it in the wrong way. There we go. Okay, that went, that went in nice. I just flipped it. Because it, the uh, long ways didn't seem to actually fit into the slot at first, so... Alright, and we take that half. Make sure it's lined up. sure that that little keyhole right there is either straight up and in line with this or or if you're gonna do it make sure it's straight up this way still in line with that otherwise your your uh, flashback suppressor is gonna be off-center which I think I need a and I can still turn it. Okay, that's kind of strange because normally that stays nice and tight. All right, yeah. So the flashback suppressor right here. Oh. All right, this is tighter than the last couple of ones. Remember, I had, I, what was it, the second cannon? It might have been the second cannon that when I was building it, the uh, part was actually too loose, and I had to glue the uh, flashback suppressor onto the suppressor housing right there. All right, oh, well, cannon's done. That whole thing brings us up to... The end, which there's 30 steps. Of course, um, step 30 is actually testing this. Oh, there's the battery right there. Uh, all right, so we just plug this sucker in. And there we go. Which I, I know you can't really tell from right in there about any light coming through it but you can definitely see the light coming in through here and through there so I'll actually at least turn this one light off that's literally right in front of me and you'll be able to see that a little bit better yeah well Maybe they put a little bit of a little bit more paint in there than usual because sometimes I have whoop, sometimes I have a little bit of shine through on the that suppressor in there. But um there we go. And you can see the light coming through there there and right through the end there so I mean I I really like how that ends up coming out like that 
course, of course, more light will come out straight forward through there. I mean, you'll still be able to see that light right in there. But obviously, you can tell that the light bleed coming through here because this is the half that isn't painted yet. So there will end up being a little bit more light coming straight forward through this. Alrighty. So get that unplugged. Alright. Alright, so what we will be doing for issue 51. Oh, excuse me. Next week here. Okay, so your two articles are Star Wars Rebels, The Tide Defender, Chewbacca, Wookiee Warrior, and Upper Port Wing, plus Wing Panel and Details. So the first piece of the fourth wing. Alright, okay, so hopefully all of you guys have been, you know, keeping yourselves busy um, in your time off from work. If... Uh, you happen to have a job like me where it's not considered essential. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for like three weeks now, I've been working on my car or, you know, working on models. Which, I mean, they're, you know, kits. They're not subscription builds or anything. Still been working on my uh, DeLorean mods. Although, I ordered some drill bits... Uh, a specific size drill bit that I needed f for um, something for that one or two mods for the DeLorean and it's been like almost a week and I mean it's coming through the uh, USPS and they still don't have any information on it but the company that I ordered it from online actually has a tracking number so pretty soon here, I gotta, I gotta look the email up again, find out what date it said that it was shipped, and then get a hold of Harbor Freight and you know ask them what the heck is going on, which is uncool, because I needed a 1.8 millimeter drill bit and I can't buy it at the local hardware store, and I can't use my hobby drill bits. Because, I mean, it's it's a 1.8 millimeter titanium coated drill bit. So, you know, drilling into metal, you know. So, yeah, I mean, that's uh, a bit frustrating. But, you know, something else that I ended up doing today um, was, seeing as it was such a nice day out, I decided to go and um, work in the backyard, you know planted some uh, some vegetables and stuff like I would normally try to do I mean I got some uh, you know like patio planters I mean I do have a I guess you could call a backyard but I mean it's a it's a little teeny tiny area so I, I don't really have enough space plus you know the, uh, the soils where, where I am isn't really uh, good enough to actually grow a lot of the stuff that I like. You know, like tomatoes or cucumbers or whatnot. So, yep, yeah, so I did that today. Spent, uh, I don't know, at least an hour, hour and a half doing that. You know, in between, you know, like some model work, making this video, working on the car, anything to keep myself busy. So hopefully you guys have found, uh, you know, quite a bit for yourself to do as well. And I know, you know, me adding this on here at the end, you know, is probably uh, just making the video longer. But, yeah. Just hopefully, you know, like everything's going alright. You know, get out, do stuff. Keep yourselves busy. It's the best thing to do, being stuck at home. So on that note... Until issue 51 of the Build Your Own Star Wars X-Wing. Or until I can get 
a uh, video up for the mods on the DeLorean or any other possibly possible videos I can make for you guys just to have you guys keep watching stuff uh, thanks for watching Brian's builds